Imus, officially the city of Imus, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Imus, or simply known as Imus City, is a class city in the province of Cavite, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 403,785 people. It is the de jure capital of Cavite, located 20 kilometers 12 miles south of Metro Manila. Imus was the site of two major Katipunero victories during the Philippine Revolution against Spain. The Battle of Imus was fought on September 3, 1896 and the Battle of Alapan, on May 28, 1898, the day when the first Philippine flag was flown making Imus the flag capital of the Philippines. Both events are celebrated annually in the city. The Imus Historical Museum honors the city's history with historical reenactment of scenes from the revolution. The former municipality was officially converted into a city following a referendum on June 30, 2012. Imus is also the religious center of Cavite as the see of the Diocese of Imus, which is coterminous with the province. The city hosts Imus Cathedral, which is under the patronage of the canonically crowned Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Imus, Our Lady of the Pillar of Imus. The city served as the host diocese during the Fifth Asian Youth Day on November 20-27, 2009. The city of Imus designated as the capital city of province in Cavite and present, the former municipality was officially converted into a city following a referendum on June 30, 2012, because of its location at the entrance in Cavite from Metro Manila, Imus was the site of two major Katipunero victories during the Philippine Revolution against Spain. Etymology There are at least four versions on the origin of the name of the city. Firstly, Imus is a Tagalog word meaning, a piece of land cutting into the junction of two rivers. The old location of the church is in Toklong where the confluence of Imus River and Julian River is located, forming a slice of land. A second version is a rationalization of a geographical fact. Some intellectuals of the city theorized that the name, Imus, originated from the Latin word infamous, meaning lowland. Comparing the altitude of different towns in Cavite province, Imus is described as lowland, slowly elevating to the neighboring city of Dasmariñas, to Salang, Indong, Amadio, Mendez, Alfonso, Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo, peaking in Tagaytay City Ridge, the highest part of the province, as upland towns. Although there is no verifiable source of this theory, it has also been said that the name Imus is derived from the word centimos, the smallest unit of metal currency during the Spanish colonial era. During that era, a detachment of Spanish soldiers was stationed at the Recollect Estate House, and after they left a few natives scrounged the place for articles left behind. They found a number of centimo coins and went away exclaiming in utter delight. Centimos! Centimos! The place has since been identified as Imus. Still, another legend is that of a young mother crooning her child to sleep with a plaintive Tagalog ditty called Limos. A group of Spanish soldiers, who had gone there for the first time, asked her name of the place, and the woman, thinking that they were asking her the name of the song, answered Limos. The Spaniards went away muttering the last syllable Imus. History Early history Like Cavite City originally called Cavite La Punta and Noveleta, La Tierra Alta, Imus used to be a part of Cavite El Viejo, now Cahuit, whose parish church was built by the Jesuits during the administration of Archdiocese of Manila Archbishop Miguel Garcia Serrano, 1618-1629. For more than a century and a half the people of Imus had to endure walking or traveling 4.5 kilometers to 8 miles of dirt road to attend religious services or transact official business in the city proper. The difficulty of communication between Imus and Cavite El Viejo was a long-standing complaint of the Imusinos until another religious order, the Augustinian Recollects, as a consequence of the British occupation of Manila in 1762, established a parish church in Imus, in what is now known as Bayang Luma. However, the church site was far from the estate house of the 11,100 hectares 27,000 acres Hacienda acquired in 1686 by the Recollect Corporation, and when the church was destroyed by the strong typhoon of September 1779, the Recollect friars transferred it to Barrio Toclong, and finally to Sitio de Balangan, now the city plaza of Imus. 
With the establishment of the Recollect Parish the people of Imus gained their religious emancipation from the Jesuit-run parish of Cavite el Viejo. The Recollects, however, would not be content with little victory or achievement. In 1774, Recollect Fr. Pedro San Buenaventura petitioned the government to separate the inquilinos tenants of Imus from the political jurisdiction of the government of Cavite el Viejo. After a considerable time of waiting, the petition was granted and Imus became an independent municipality on October 3, 1795. On May 28, 1898, Imus gained its independence from Spanish colonial rule after the last remaining stronghold of forces from the Spanish Empire had been defeated in the Battle of Alapan as headed by General Emilio Aguinaldo. This battle led to the Philippine Declaration of Independence in Kawit, Cavite June 12, 1898. The modern flag of the Philippines was first unfurled in victory during this battle as they marched their way to the present-day Cavite City, together with the captured forces of Spain. In commemoration of the event, a Battle of Alapan marker was constructed inside the compound of Alapan Elementary School May 28, 1998 and was inaugurated by President Fidel V. Ramos. Although, May 28, 2014, a new marker and the Imus National Heritage Park were inaugurated at Barangay Alapan 2A to make the initially constructed marker more accessible to the public. Modern history On June 11, 1977, then-President Ferdinand Marcos issued Presidential Decree No. 1163, which transferred the provincial capital of Cavite from Trece Martires City to Imus City. There is no other enabling law after that, that specifies the capital of Cavite in May 28, 2008, National Flag Day, the city celebrated the first Wagayway Festival, Flag Waving Festival, signifying the very first unfurling of the flag of the Philippines during the Battle of Alapan on May 28, 1898 against the Spanish colonizers. The battle was a major victory for General Emilio Aguinaldo, later the first president of the Philippine Republic during the Philippine Revolution, which eventually led to the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spain on June 12, 1898 in nearby Kawit, Cavite. The five-day event was highlighted by the historical reenactment of events from the sewing of the flag by Filipino exiles in Hong Kong, the Battle of Alapan, to the defeat of the Filipinos by the American troops silencing the dreams of an independent Philippines. The reenactment included students, city employees, and barangay officials. The festival was launched by then Mayor, Emmanuel Maliksi, who reminded the people that the core of the celebration is love and respect for the Philippine flag, which symbolizes freedom and love for the country. Among the guests present was the former Prime Minister of the Philippines, César Varada, who is a grandnephew of General Emilio Aguinaldo. Lone District of Imus A bill was filed by Congressman Joseph Abaya with co-authors Congressman Pidi Barzaga and Crispin Remela creating the municipality of Imus as a lone legislative districts of the Philippines. The bill was supported by Senator Panfilo Laxon, Senator Richard Gordon, and Senator Bong Revilla. On October 22, 2009, Republic Act 9727 was approved by the President of the Philippines, creating the Lone District of Imus as the Third District of Cavite. Incorporation as city during the 10th Congress 1995-1998, a House Bill HB, No. 08960 was filed by Congressman Renato P. Dragon together with the other cityhood bills for Bacor HB 08959, and Dismarinas HB 08931. The bills did not pass the Congress. Congressman Araneo Maliksi filed House Bill No. HB 01989 last August 3, 2010, which created the city of Imus. The bill was enacted into law as Republic Act No. 10161. The plebiscite required to ratify the conversion of the municipality of Imus into a component city was scheduled June 30. 2012, Republic Act No. 10161 was ratified by the registered voters of Imus through a plebiscite conducted last June 30, 2012, converted the municipality of Imus in the province of Cavite into a component city to be known as the City of Imus. There were about 22,742 voters who cast their ballots in the town's 453 polling precincts. The. Yes. 
Boats won overwhelmingly getting 20,438 while the No. Boats got 2,304. Geography Physical IMIS covers a land total area of 6,470 hectares 16,000 acres or 64.70 square kilometers 24.98 square miles, approximately 6.8% of the total land area of the province of Cavite, which is 1,427.06 square kilometers 550.99 square miles. The almost rectangular inland city of Cavite is bounded by the municipalities of Cahuit and Navaleta to the north, and General Trias to the west, by the cities of Bacor to the east and Desmarinas to the south. The city is located near the metropolitan Manila area, just 21 kilometers 13 miles south of Manila. With the continuous expansion of Metro Manila, this local government unit is now included in the Greater Manila area, which reaches Lipa City in its southernmost part. Political subdivisions Imus City is subdivided in a total of 97 barangays. In 1998, the town was composed of 21 barangays. These former barangays were further subdivided to make the current collection of 97. The barangays which have been divided into multiple pieces carry the original barangay name, distinguished by capital letters if the name ends in numbers, for example, Medician 1 is subdivided into Medician 1A, Medician 1B, etc. Names ending in letters, such as Bukandala, Bayan Luma, etc. are distinguished by numbers Bukandala 1, Bayan Luma 2, etc. The only exceptions to this rule are Barangay Buhay na Tubig and the barangays inside Bahayang Pag Asa subdivision, namely Mariano Espalita I-3, Panagbuklod, Magdalo, Maharlika and Bahayang Pag Asa, later renamed Bagong Salang. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Imus, was 403,785 people, with a density of 6,200 inhabitants per square kilometer or 16,000 inhabitants per square mile. Economy Imus is the foremost banking center of Cavite with numerous financial institutions and also an excellent banking infrastructure is being propagated by the present government to spearhead the development of the city. The city of Imus has shown a steady rise in its income earning a first-class income classification in 1986. Its 9,701 hectare 23,970 acre land area serves as home to a population of 195,482. In 1993, IMIS had 1,369 commercial establishments, 200 manufacturing establishments and 41 financial institutions. Ten years hence, it has 6,636 licensed business establishments that include 4,376 commercial establishments, 300 manufacturing establishments and 190 financial institutions. With a comfortable 18 kilometers 11 miles distance from Metro Manila, Imus serves as a favorable site for industrial establishments such as the 200 hectare 490 acre Imus Informal Industrial Estate and Anabu Hills Industrial Estate. Corporations that are 100% Filipino owned include Annie's Candy Manufacturing, Inc., CKL Industries and Luwewe MKTG. Corp. Factories of partly Filipino-owned corporations include Champan Garment Corp., Hayag Motorworks and Machine Shop and San Miguel Yamamura Asia Corp. Foreign-owned corporations include Frontline Garments Corp. and EDSMFG, Inc., which produces automotive wiring harness. IMIS is also the home of the Anabu Handmade Paper Products, a producer of handmade paper and paper products. The Imus Commercial Business District along Nueño Avenue, also called Imus Boulevard, is the center of commerce in the city. The Imus Public Market Pamilihang Bayan ng Imus, is the hub of trade in the district. The market is divided into 25 zones and has a total of 805 stalls. Commercial, industrial and manufacturing industries owned by Taiwanese, Japanese and Filipino investors can also be found there. There are 3,601 commercial establishments duly registered in the city as of March 1999. 
18 major industrial establishments with a total capitalization of 1.311 billion pesos have established their base at the IMAS informal industrial estate providing local employment to an estimated 13,478 people as of December 1998. Located just along the stretch of the General Emilio Aguinaldo Highway, the main highway of Cavite traversing the city from north to south, the 200-hectare informal industrial estate houses manufacturing companies owned by foreign and Filipino investors. IMAS has ventured to the export of automotive wire harness and electrical components, acrylic sheets and lighting fixtures, processed foods, shellcraft, bamboo, rattan and woodcraft, furniture, garments and novelty items to other countries. Several subdivisions and mass housing projects and the establishment of factories and small-scale industries in many of its barangays have resulted in a movement of population into the city. However, heavy traffic congestion caused by the Bujos poor system, inadequate road signage and systems, poor road maintenance, mixed vehicles, tricycles, pedicabs, bicycles, etc., unjustified traffic priority schemes and rampant violation of traffic rules is observable on roads. This is causing headaches to travelers specifically along Aguinaldo Highway. In an attempt to improve road conditions, traffic lights were installed in Aguinaldo Highway and on other busy intersections in the city in 2015. Ayala Land Inc. is investing PHP 70B for an estate, Bermosa. It will be accessible by Muntinlupa Cavite Expressway. Agriculture, particularly rice production, is still practiced in the city. Local government List of heads Gobernator Silos Lacerio Tapasio, 1888-1890 Cayetano Tapasio, 1890-1892 Angel Buenaventura, 1892-1894 Capitanes Municipal Bernardino Paredes, 1894-1896 Jose Tagle, 1896-1897 Valentin Canijo, 1898-1900 Municipal Presidents Donato Barada, 1900-1903 Juan Viña, 1903 Lacerio Tapasio, 1903. Pedro Buenaventura, 1903. Pantaleon Garcia, 1904-1905. Felipe Viña, 1905 to 1909. Maximo Abad, 1910 to 1912. Felipe Viña, 1912 to 1915. Pablo Palma, acting, 1912-1913. Cecilio Camanti, 1915-1919. Felix Paredes, 1919-1925. Blas Mallory, 1925-1928. Epifanio Gabriel, 1928-1931. Mayors. Dominator Camerino, 1931 to 1940. Geronimo Maluto, acting 1931-1932. Elpidio Osteria, 1940 to 1944. Alfredo Saki, 1944-1945. Fortunato Remola, 1945. Dominator Alano, 1945-1946. Epifanio Gabriel, acting, 1946. Dominator Alano, 1946-1963. Rodrigo Camia, acting, 1960. Dominator Camerino, 1964-1967. Manuel Paredes, 1967. Jose V. Jamir, 1968-1986. Mariano Reyes, acting, 1968, 1969, 1971. Damian Villaseca, acting, 1986. Wilfred Ogard, acting, 1986 to 1988. 
Irineo S. Maluxi, 1988-1998 Ricardo C. Paredes Sr., Acting, 1998 Oscar A. Jaro, 1998-2001, 2004, 2007 Homer T. Sakwalayan, 2001 to 2004, 2004 to 2007, 2010, 2011, 2013. Emmanuel L. Maluxi, 2007 to 2010, 2011 to 2013, 2013 present. City seal. Inscriptions. The official seal of the city of Imus bears the inscriptions Lungsod ng Imus, Liliwigan ng Cavite, City of Imus, Province of Cavite, the year 2012 representing the year of the city charter. Symbolism. The nine, nine sun's rays symbolizes hope and bright future. The gear symbolizes trade and industry. The church signifies the separation of church and state, and the rich cultural traditions. The Imus City Hall building signifies heritage, peaceful and good living conditions and citizenry participation. The school and houses signifies community development and Christian endeavors. The satellite symbolizes technology. The road signifies the development of the city towards industrialization. The lady signifies Anang Bayan, motherland, representing Filipino nationalism in the Battle of Alapan. The jeepney represents the entrepreneurial spirit of the Imusinos. Colors. Yellow represent the spirited, joyful and bright outlook of the people, blue denotes peace and order maintained through the unparalleled support of its citizenry, and green for growth and prosperity leading to the fulfillment of its people's dream and aspirations. Notable people Carlos Sart Jr. Former basketball referee of Metroball, MBA, Metropolitan Basketball Association. Gallery References External links Official website of the Provincial Government of Cavite City Government of Imus Portal Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information